What's up guys? In this tutorial we'll be going over the remap method and basically what that does it allows you to remap uh, the second segment which is the method from going to this specific method name and it allows you to go to whatever method name you want. So let's go ahead and implement the, the remap method. How does the remap method look? Well, it's public function and underscore remap. So you're gonna be passing the method as the parameter. This is the second segment. And here you can do something like a switch method case. Let's say let's say we put Dino up there and let's say we do something else. So for these, if the method is Dino, we want it to go to this contact us form. And if it's something else, we want it to go to this index. For this purpose, it does require a parameter. So we're gonna go ahead and eliminate this parameter just for right now. All right, so let's see how it works. If we go over here, if we try contact us form, as you can see, nothing pops up. But if we try to go to Dino, you can see it redirects to the contact us form. Uh, if it's something else in index, we'll just do rnump hello dot tell hello. And if we refresh, go to something else. There you go. So remap also allows the passing of parameters. So we'll set the sequence to an array. And let's just basically see how that looks like. We'll do a var dump. And we'll do a var dump of the params. Okay, so if we go right here, current params is empty. The method is something else. And if we do the parameters, Dino, Dino, hello. As you can see, it just keeps adding on to that array. If you need to pass, like for example, previously there was a name parameter that was passed to this method, you can grab it via the params using the remap method and push it to this, in this case, contact us form method. So that's pretty much it for the remap method. Uh, we'll continue on. I think we got a couple more things to review in the controllers.